I'm so tapped up, and I'm scared, just a little bit. I've never done any... This is a Homestuck game, to some degree. And I was told by someone I will judge, except I forget who it is, but I'll still find out. I'll still judge- oh my gosh, that's loud. Um, <laughs> I will find and judge you if this turns out to not be enjoyable if you are not a Homestuck fan. But I was told that it's just a cute, retro, feeling, point-and-click kind of thing that you could enjoy even if you haven't played Homestuck. I do know that that, that Toby Fox gentleman, that's right, Parker, likes Homestuck. So obviously it's good, right? Is that Ezreal? I see Parker. You have opinions about Homestuck? Oh, I didn't know you have run the fan page. Oh, really? Yes. So to I, all, all I know about Toby Fox is candy corn horns. For instance, I didn't know there was that. I know there's gray people with like horns. Where, where's the horns? These look vaguely Homestuckish, but I don't see the, home, the, the horns. I know that a version of Megalovania was made for it. I don't know why. That, that part interests me. But this is like a classic point and click kind of thing. Animation's pretty good. I heard this was pretty enjoyable, even if you, uh, were not the Homestuck variety. Meow. Meow. So you can tell it's an old, um, uh, point and click style game because it's got a pixelated cursor. That's a, that's a cute touch. My name is... Sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster. Thing with all the legs and teeth, he barely got away from. Minutes up, though. Take a deep breath, letting the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-waggling darkness. Focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Claire. Okay. I got, I'm one of those first name, first name people, huh? What are you doing, Parker? Oh, no, that's that's not Parker. That's my... I forgot I have the... <sighs> got the wash going. You live just outside the town of Hauntswitch. That seems like a safe place to live, right? Town of Hauntswitch? You are in no particular order. A puzzle solver, a semi-orphan. A semi-orphan. I, I don't know how that one works. A dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Okay. Speaking of that monster that barely missed eating you alive, which they're still thinking about, yeah, yeah. Uh, might be headed back outside with your little brother is. You gotta warn him. I, I assume he would, like, know to be, like, scared of things. But, I mean... See, animation and art looked pretty good in this. I heard it's supposed to kind of have a good sense of humor, which I think is, personally, I think that's an essential part of a point-and-click. Because these can get very frustrating, and I think without a good, snarky kind of sense of humor, um, it can be just really crushing. I really like that background there. Bravely muse on the metaphorical significance of flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? AMERICA?! It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. I, th I was hoping it was America. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I thought it was America! I thought it was America! Poor puppy. If that icky, snaky thing hurt her, well, you'll do your, use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make her all better. We'll also be very angry. Are these... Are these the bad things? More of them. Gentrification is a real monster. <laughs> Blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope your brother aren't killed and eat by those eyeless horrors. Are those the bad guys in Homestuck? They kind of have the opposite color scheme. Like, the, 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 the good guys are orange, right? So I guess the bad guys are green? That would make some sense. Be nice if those monsters were weirded out by the weird skull fountain. Oh, wow! That's, that's cool! I don't know. Why do I live here? Why do I live in such a fancy place? I look... I live in, like, that big-ass house that, like, <laughs> second mom. Um, I live in that big-ass house of, um, um, gone home. What is that? This is Sir Bappy Pat Posswater, your beloved manthro chap. What? You tend to his fussy whims and needs, and you trouble to imagine what they may be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanimals. I mean humanity. Okay. Anyway, Sir Bappy Posswater will have to tend his own fussy whims for a while. You got a lot of crap on your plate right now. I like the little idle animation. Let's see what video game references we have here. We got Acorn's Shadow, which I guess is a, a My Little Pony kind of situation. Ca Canadian Campfire Spookums. Oh, Spookums time! 
Hell yeah. Um, hot stepping. <laughs> the story keeps happening. <laughs> I warned you about stories, bro. I told you, dog. It keeps happening. Star Avenue. Ginger Rogers. That's the other thing I know about Homestuck. My, my fourth bit of knowledge about Homestuck. I know that the MS Paint Adventures guy is related. Shh. That's Bubsy. That's Bubsy. That's freaking Bubsy. That's my favorite one. What is that? You love Rock Block Hustle, the game of descending columns that disappears, lines are filled. But you can only find a poster of the American box art. <laughs> Aw, that's a good one. Ginger Rogers. Sorry for the sorry for the, the washing machine, but um, I'm a human and I have clothes and sometimes they get washed. Sometimes. Th that's a really hard game to connect four down there, isn't it? Wait, no, is that? Wait, how many slots are in connect four? Well, I need to know this now. I've never cared about this ever before. But now I have to know. Okay, now that's a regulation connect four. Never mind. Never mind. I I'll, I'll allow it. There's no filthy cheating going on today. Thank goodness. Ginger Rogers. Gosh, he's really something. Greatest tap dancer ever cr clattered gracefully across the screen. Probably. No, wait, definitely. It's okay. What about Bubsy? What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say. Why are you allowed- are you allowed to say Bubsy? Do you have to pay Bubsy's estate? You'd hear it in your head forever. Echoing like screams echo across the water. Second mom. This game's only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at the game company and he says he gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out there. He runs off the mouth like this and has insider information. I never had that kid who claimed they worked at, at had an uncle that worked at Nintendo. Um, I did have a friend that would like constantly lie about like Squaresoft games though, so I guess it's kind of close. He told me there was a way to get Ares to live and some stuff like that. You tend to ignore him and focus more on pleasant things. Second mom rules. Looks like Kiki's delivery service with Earthbound. Who is this? Is that, oh, that's me. Hi, me. How you doing? Little girl there, she's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big loneliness. Now oh, hold on, pull yourself together. What's your mom say? All capitals, mom. Is, am I semi-orphan because I don't have dad? Is it, oh, since she's been gone. We've seen less and less of pot over the years. Oh, so I'm like an inverse, um, Pokemon character. Look, you have much more to record in here, blah, 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 okay. Is this how I save the game? It's locked. Long buried or recently buried secrets, you have to get the diary key. I guess that's a thing, isn't it? Di what, what is this? Light, is that it me? Also, I appreciate that this kind of, how many different things can I do? Just look. It kind of automatically picks which action. A lot of the old games you would have like, I think in the original, um, what's it called? The Day of the Tentacle? There's like 10 different actions you would have to pick. It was just way too much. Challenge. Well, sure, why not? After this, I should really go with Beth, get the walkie-talkie. Just remember, you cannibalize the batteries from the walkie-talkie to power this game. Oh. Oh. Says. Just says. N never mind who says it. Alright, we don't. Oops. Looked out of the game. It's got a nice full screen window. It should probably lock me in here, but whatever, it's fine. Not a lot of options, but hey, it's 2D. Ah, I keep clicking outside of the screen. All right, how do I not get the, I want the batteries. Give me the batteries. No, just, why can't I quit? I don't want to play anymore. No, I want, just give me the batteries. I think I killed it. Guys, I can't leave. I'm I'm am I'm a captive. I'm a slave to the dance. I can't. Why 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 can't I like? I don't want to. I don't want to do this thing. No no. Oh oop, oh oh. Fuck. <laughs> Great. Um. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, that was that was the classic Sir Tap Tap moment. There you go. That's my name. Um. So we're gonna not. Can I just take the batteries? You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. How do I... I just, I just want the batteries. I don't want to play it. I'm scared. I, I think I have to win. I think that's why it doesn't let you leave. I just want to take... It's obviously leading me to just take the batteries out of it. 
but it's a total like adventure game logic thing that like Oh no, you can't just take the batteries out. You have to keep playing it until your character gets upset and has like traumatic childhood memories. Oh, here we go, here we go. There's the traumatic childhood memories. You... <laughs> Guys, I had to press three buttons. I had to press three buttons and I accidentally had to rewatch the opening cutscene, which you can't skip. You have a good hard stare. You appreciate the heck out of this art. Would you, you can't say heck on the internet. Be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. Yes, yes, quite. But what does that say? Bluke, bluke. I remember bluke. Good game. I should have expected that to happen. That like, <laughs> it doesn't let you leave because like it takes like three seconds to do, and I just panicked. Magical Animal Companion Heal Rescue is your favorite Japanimation. Do we still say that? I don't think we still say that. Censor that too. It's about this girl, Chica, who goes to school, sometimes has a regular life, boring, yeah, but when a magical animal has been hurt, a magical animal becomes princess, Chica, and rides her dear companion to go heal them. The whole thing is great, no fighting, just healing. You love it. That seems... That seems like an unnecessarily specific power. How many magical animals even are there, and how, how often do they get hurt? Bounty hunter's advice for... Oh, it's... It's not Samus, and not... What is that? that? That looks nothing like Ridley, but I guess that's the point. I guess he's white like the troll peoples are. Are we trolls, or... I don't know. I don't know what a homestuck thing is. I think they're trolls. They're internet trolls. That's why they came from the internet, so they're trolls. Makes sense. One day you hope to be a veterinarian. You can get all the care for fuzzy babies. Professional medical business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Doggo. What's up, Doggo? Search. Search inside the expectant plush canine and puppy surprise is having puppy. Oh, God. Why? Why? Ew. Oh, it's one of those ew. <laughs> I think they have, like, a real one of these, like, pregnant doll things and you, like, reload them with babies and, like, push them out. There's also potty training babies, which is even creepier. Like, Addy, you better take this beautiful heirloom of your mom's close. Why is it like an edgy dragon key? Just feeling a deep, inexorable feeling. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's an adventure game. If you let me take it, I'm gonna take it, buddy. You should be pretty safe on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, you suppose. I don't know if that would bear my weight. Ah, Parker! <laughs> Get your claws stuck in my clothes, please. I guess better them than me, but like, yeah. Ah. I can change clothes? You can try on some new clothes. It's a style montage. At least one. Par Parskins. Who's gonna give you an affirming head nod? More important before style montage. Okay. We can't do a style montage. Babysitter, junior veterinarian, medkit. No, get the medkit. What if I need it for doggo? Well, I got a nice computer from 1991. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up any hallway snakes to stir for the sights. Ugh. I, I never. I, I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I never understood why. The, the the logging in is super loud, but all of the other data transfers are dead silent. I, I think it just actually genuinely has to like dial a number, basically. So like it really is using your phone to dial it up, and it's horrible. I don't know, I'm, I'm sure there's a Wikipedia article that explains all of it that I could just read. Hello, Par Par Parker. You're making it even more difficult than I was when I accidentally closed the game. Hi, Parker. One walkie-talkie, batteries are missing, as you expected. Oh. I didn't even know I needed those batteries, but... Let's put those in there. Success. The walkie-talkie... Parker. Parker, would you at least sit? I tried to have some miso soup today. I got a, like, bowl thing you could, like, microwave, and it... It was kind of bad. Oops! Oh, no! Uh, Parker, you, you advanced the dialogue! Would you stop that? He's really good at hitting the space bar. I should probably just, like, lock. In fact, let me do that right now. Uh, control shift L, I think it is. I got this app. Oh, wait, no. There we go. I got this app called Keyboard Locker. It's great if you have pets and need them to, like, not ruin your entire life. Um, Mr. Walkie Talkie. Judy, there, you alright? 
What, what is this Astiff movie? Oh, did you see that? I don't think you did. I got an achievement pop-up and it looked like Astiff movie. Yes, been covertly signaling status and requesting yours over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. <laughs> Would never use such easily decipherable code. Over. Anime agents everywhere. Over. Wait, oh, unover. I don't think you can just unover. Still unconverted vis a vis your condition to following enemy serpentine encounter. Over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross? Over. I'm fine. Oh, bites you weirdo, but thanks for asking. It was a close one. <laughs> Genuine little brother dialogue. Great was worried over. That's not little brother dialogue. It reminds me. After I shut up the door, they heard it clumping back down the stairs. Don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving current location crawling out with Cryptid Vanguard over. Cryptid Vanguard? Missing big picture, Joey! Over. <laughs> okay, maybe a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. Monster's likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agent on approach. Over. Do you mean like more monsters or can't discuss with unsecured channel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Evans points to oh, where a terrorist class conspiracy cascade. What? <laughs> what? Over. Relieved you're taking this seriously. <laughs> Are you totally prepared to begin and no going back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was making fun of you, dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Trust critical on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tripped equation from typical skepticism. Over. Trust is for chumps. <laughs> Tell me what's going on, dude. Your current position not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemies. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic. Joey, over. The attic. Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical material. M -m material. Take left out of bedroom upstairs. Highest room in the house over. What else is this? She was trying to treat house, blah, blah, blah. Don't understand. You sound confused. Trying to help over. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Call the cops or the babysitter? Obviously the babysitter is the one who can really help. Too late to reach her at lab working day. <laughs> Long over. Oh no, you're right. Babysitter capable strifer? Strifer? Strafer? That's probably a Homestuck thing. I don't know what a Strafer is. Is it like Cypher? Is he gonna be like my nemesis? Do you have your weapon over? Sure don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A bit too much dialogue to read everything. Must be brave over. Your brother believes you and now I know you're not a real brother. Stop saying serpents! <laughs> Do you recall where weapon is over? Yeah. In the closet. Okay. I mean the hall closet. Crap. Over. Okay. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't go through the dial. Even if I'm not going to read it, I should leave it up for a sec so you can read it. Over and out, squirt. Ugh, Parker, get your tail. Parker. Resume Resume. lower sitting position. Over. Parker, to tail is betraying the tactical position to the enemies. Over. <laughs> Attracting allergens. Over. At least try some new squad. Oh, crap. Oops. No. I'm sure I'm happy about all of this situation. They said he gave you another birthday, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright, can I just leave? You want to leave without writing what could be your last words ever in your diary. Exciting happens. Have, okay, we got it. We, we, we write a diary. Does anybody still write diaries? Oh, oh let me, let's see what the game console. This. Weird mix of NES and SNES. I guess it's just a miscolored SNES. You just saved before fighting the final boss, which means you'll need to budget several hours to fight through the various forms and anti-forms and transformations to look. You got a lot on your plate right now. It sounds way more fun than dealing with, like, Murder Snake. I just think Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. Maybe go down, lie down for a bit, actually. Speaking of Bubsy, honestly, the worst thing about Bubsy is it didn't save. At least for me as a kid, like... Bubsy? I played Bubsy like before I realized like games could be not good. So it was like I just thought it was like really hard and I didn't really you know, I didn't like it as much as like Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island stuff, but I was just like, hmm, I'm just not good at this game. It's hard. It's like no, it's <laughs> really badly designed. 
I honestly think Bubsy 2 is not that bad, though. It's pretty mediocre. I wouldn't re necessarily recommend playing it for any particular reason, but I think it's a little bit exaggerated how bad it is. Now, Bubsy 3D. It's, it's real bad. I should stream that someday or something. I did play a different Bubsy 3D. I played the art game version, which is the real thing, not, not by the actual Bubsy creators. But uh, you might check that out if you're, you know, very interested in Bubsy for some reason. Unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets. Who you are. That they're just your boring secrets. So you don't care. Aww. I'm like, I, I'm just like, um, I'm just like May in, uh, in, um, uh, Night in the Woods. I do all the drawings. Maybe something to your past shed lights on today's terror mysteries. April 13th, blah, blah, blah. Nothing happened today. Cool, cool diary entry. A social circle, yes. Just been calling them my web ring. Cha. Yeah. You gotta log into my web ring, bro. We've got the dankest vlogs. Yeah. Get school with jerks, though. I think a bunch of the kids at my school might be evil. It's. Hmm. First day of vacation. Can't wait to get a break from all those clowns in school. Vacation of humanity. Are you considered human, though? Maybe these are hu I guess they don't have the horns, so they're human. They're just gray for reasons. Been back to school for a while now. She wrote the little sad face. Come home to a drunk babysitter again today. Oh, my- that- <laughs> Wow. <sighs> Haven't heard from Paul in weeks. Last week's song pop in the house. Drop some more stupid mummies and globes or whatever. Skip town to go off and then more adventures with a bozo. Lame they made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up. That is pretty lame. I miss Mom. Double sad face. The rare double sad face. This is the last entry in your diary by Gum. You're gonna scare the bejesus about whoever finds it. Forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, I can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on his brow. Oh man, I'm totally gonna start calling myself a sly and cunning monster. That's way better than a smooth criminal. Possibly hungry for kid meat, too. Okay, I don't have a darn clue what to have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Oh man. That's a totally awkward last thing. You ruined the last. You ruined it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Successfully written in diary. We've got Spookum's eye things in the background. <laughs> if writing in tactics, <laughs> if writing in diary about tactics, please share. Over. I'm hanging up now. Not a phone. Over. Click dial tone. <laughs> Can see you through window. You're making sounds with melt over and out. Uh, good stuff. All right. So can I leave now? Well, let me save first. I think we'll call that a video. I don't know how far I'll get. I, I don't know. I don't really feel doing a full playthrough of this in this one sitting. Oh my god, that was just some purple. I remember things like pencil bags and stuff with this like incandescent pink and purple colors. They resonate so powerfully with the very core of your being. The manifest, the magic, the power. I think my sister might have had some of the aw kitties. The posters, they resonate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, anything else? Babysitter gave you the wishes for birthday. Joey, this wizard's the best. He lives as a little wizard of the orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Got more pressing concerns. Okay, book report, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but I want to load up some freaking Neopets. Come on. I got to get my Neo, my daily Neo points. Now, Neopets was oddly ahead of the whole free-to-play thing. It really... With the whole daily... Login crap and like all that stuff. It really was much like a uh, Kind of like a modern uh, thing So the coast is clear for now better hurry out of the hall clouds and retrieve your weapon for that crafty old serpent You mean snake I can get the drop on you Okay, what the hell is my house? Like <laughs> I've got a Russian I've got a Russian roulette you don't use guns. 
Why is there a Russian roulette, like, squirt gun? This weapon can shoot a, a, the handle is backwards. I'm gonna shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. You, you suck, Joey. First, last gun, dart war. <laughs> Belinda here provides great cover for those who refuse to use firearms, namely you. Are you Batman? Look at these fine pieces of art. Now we're talking. I can definitely see this. I, I, I still don't know. I don't even know if this is home. Like, I know this is vaguely Homestuck related. Like, this was in the thing, but like. If you just played this, I don't think you would be lost. Without having played Homestuck, as I haven't. Like I said. Joe would insist the terrified horse was being abducted. Your counter argument completely schooled him. The payment now commemorates your triumph and particularly spe spectacular coin. The Equine Nativity. Okay. I guess if Dad has been away for like eternity, we can just destroy the house and babysitter does not care. I sure got a lot of these stickers. I was always scared to use stickers. I never liked stickers because like once you put them on, they don't. You can't reuse them, and it's, it gives me stress. Played a um, well, get a little close there. The the, the uh, do you recommend getting your hat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the camera angle changes are neat. Anyway, we're not gonna get through the hall closet yet. I think I'll do at least one more video of this. Uh, this is pretty neat. This is Hive Swap Act One, I guess. So I guess there's more after, like planned. I'm I'm a little bit late to this, but when am I, you know, early to anything? But, uh, I'll do at least one more video, we'll see how it turn out. I don't know how long this is exactly, I don't know if we'll do a full thing. But, uh, I just figured I'd jump in and peek around, and it seems pretty neat. <laughs>